Alright, here's uh, my next steam engine. It's a mill engine, horizontal. A three inch bore, four inch stroke. Seven inch by one inch crank disc. Got the blow down valves right here. Little oiler right there. You can see inside here the movement of the cross light guide. Really nice oiler. Swift oiler. I place a valve here so that when you're running the engine and you want to drain the water out of the tank through the bottom valve here then uh, so you turn this off while it's running on steam and uh, you can take the lid off and fill the oil drain the water and fill the oil and the water that comes out is about how much oil you've used a good way to check that and uh, I only have these valves open maybe a quarter of a turn each one of them. Eighth of a turn is probably enough. Uh, the overall length of it is 36 inches on the base, the wood base. And it's maybe 20 inches wide or so. And I've just got it hooked up to one of my 20 inch boilers, which is good up to five horsepower maybe six horsepower, maybe a four inch bore, four inch stroke on your engine. That boiler worked just fine. So I'm gonna turn on the steam here and I gotta get the crank disc valve, uh, part down at um, bottom dead center. I'm just on a rolling cart here so it moves around a little bit. It needs to be on a permanent base. These are antique pulleys that I buy. When I can find them, they're hard to find. Runs really smooth. Looks beautiful. Got the exhaust there. You want to run that when it's permanently installed up the stack and creates more draft for the fire box. You can add a alternator to it and a 16 inch V-belt pulley. I could even do that for you. And uh, put the alternator right about here and uh, generate DC electricity. Really nice. Beautiful. So you know, the drain on the oiler is right here. So you don't want to open that when it's under steam unless you turn off the red valve. Right there. It'll blow all the oil and water out all over the place. I speak from past experiences. <laughs> Uh, like I say, three inch bore, four inch stroke. Eccentric working its magic here, opening and closing the valve. And the valve bar. Yeah, this, this, that's probably the sweetest running engine I've built in a long time. Real smooth. It's brand new as well. I uh, get all the raw castings from my foundry and machine them myself, make the piston, rings, valves, everything. I can find these uh, sometimes on the internet, a little uh, pep talk. And right now it's running on just 50 pounds of steam.
and um, at 250 RPM, if I have a 16 inch pulley on here, uh, it'll run that alternator at 1400 RPM and generate electricity. DC. Can't use a, a generator. There are some generators on the market new that are small that this could run. That are AC. But this, this one set up, uh, well, I guess you could uh, put a uh, generator on it. Anyway, that's about it. Uh, my name is Ross Bendixson. My phone number is 206. 948-0770. You want to call me. And uh, I will be selling this on eBay. So there will be a price there, but uh, less 10% to whoever buys it from me directly. And I can split the shipping with you, too. Put the shipping costs down. My email address is anacortisteam at gmail.com. That's A-N-A-C-O-R-T-E-S-S-T-E-A-M at gmail.com. Thanks for watching.